What's cracking, everybody? Okay, we got pants on and it's time to make big things happen. I got something new to share with you. It's a Linea Mini. Here are the important details. One, the machine's not mine. It's a long-term loaner. Two, I don't get any money or any special kickback for selling these things. I don't care what you buy, you buy what works for you. That being said, number three, I love La Marzocco. I'm a big fan of their machines, but also their company in general. We've had a residency at the La Marzocco Cafe. We use the machines in the cafe. I gotta say, I'm a little bit of a fanboy. So when it does come time for that review, I wouldn't be mad at you if you wrote in the comments section, this dude is biased. When it comes to coffee, I honestly just want people to have the machine that's gonna work best for them, spend their money the best way possible. That's kind of where I'm at with this whole thing. It's up to you whether or not you decide to trust this beautiful face. First things first, it's dirty, okay? I haven't cleaned it yet. We'll clean it while we do this. It'll be fine, it needs to be back flush. It's fine. So with that, what do you do when you get a machine? Well, you start taking it apart. That is the steam boiler, and this is the brew boiler. Now this is a really interesting design. Usually you'd see the brew boiler look like a smaller version of this, like cylindrical. This is a little bit different. It's this little box shaped design, and it's sitting right on top of the group head. Here's, can you see my hand down here? That's the group head right there. So this is a dual boiler machine, and a different brew boiler design is one of the things that differentiates this from the GS3. There's a bunch of other stuff too, but the GS3's brew boiler does not look like this. The benefit of having a small brew boiler like this is that it warms up really fast and the benefit of having it integrated right on top of the group head is thermal stability. Paddle for that on and off situation. Now it's not a true manual paddle. It trips this switch back here. Overall it looks really clean in here and it's hard to see without going through the side. The steam boiler is really large considering the size of the machine. Steam on's got really good articulation. You can move it wherever you want. It doesn't matter. You could, you know, stick it out strange. Get weird with it. Let's see where it's attached up here. Steam on, hot water spout. And here we have a surprisingly analog way to change the brew water temperature. You just tweak this wheel, put it wherever you want it. Classic logo, steam boiler pressure. That's me right there. And pump pressure. Drip tray is real deep. It's held on by these little magnets and it's got an awesome little cutout where the hot water spout can blast through there. Water tank. Fill it there. It's connected to one little hose back here and you just slide it in the back. Okay, you can see the pump down there. It's got a legit rotary pump. Main power button back there. Grinder is the Lux D. It looks like a Mazer Mini, but it's not. It's got the bigger burr set, 61 millimeter flat burrs. I usually take these off so I can see what the static screen looks like underneath. So you've got your on switch, and then you got your on-demand dosing. I feel like this setup deserves a fancy milk jug. Almost forgot the goodie box. Yoo-hoo! Milk chug. It's actually got a really nice spout on it. It's a good looking pitcher. Puro calf, baskets for days. Triple, double, single, blind screen. This is a full size 58 millimeter portafilter. These spouts pop off for cleaning. Full stainless bottom. These are easy to clean. These are great. They're light too. This is water stuff. It seriously looks so Good. You can't really tell because it's getting dark. There's not a lot of light in here. The Linea Classic is my favorite espresso machine design. It looks better today than it did when it rolled off the line. It's timeless, so the little version is perfect for me. Pretty hyped to have this in the kitchen. To be fair, I'm not really going into it blind. I've used these before, so I'm less interested in what it can do and more interested in what does it feel like to live with one of these on the day-to-day -day for three months, six months. How does it work as an at-home machine? I'm really excited to have a little bit more of that flexibility in the espresso. The Breville is great. It's a perfect machine for people who just want really good coffee. I'm looking forward to playing with a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm 
I'm pumped. It's nighttime, so I'm not yelling, but if this was during the day, I'd be yelling and screaming. There's people next door. They're not gonna understand what I'm talking about. A huge shout out to everybody out there who's watching because I've known Scott for a really long time, but the reason that he floated me one of these machines was because of the channel and the stuff we're doing here and everyone out there. You're all a part of that and I thank you. Because of you, I get to play with more toys and then share those toys with you. And hopefully we're working in this circle of life here and I'm feeling really good about it, really good about it. So good in fact that I'm gonna cook dinner. It's gonna be on. Stay dialed everyone, stay tuned and I will catch you on the flip side.